Hey guys, it's uh, it's Dom here from MobileDom.com, and today I have an unboxing for you of the Nokia C3. Uh, so let's get right to it. Um, yes, deceptively on the front I have the white version, but inside, as you can see, I have the slate grey or blue. Um, The photo itself actually has pretty nice keys, they're pretty clicky, grippy, very responsive. Is it? I don't know if you can see that, but what is it? They're very slightly domed. I say very slightly actually, if you see it in real life, they're quite big domed. Oh, there's me behind the camera. Okay, guys. But, um, yeah, I'm going to put that to the side for a sec and. Oh, metal back up. Put it aside for the for a second and get back to the unboxing, okay? We have a. There's uh, nothing. Oh, and here's where all the goodies are. We have a <coughs> proprietary Nokia, what looks like a 2.5mm. There, let me see if the camera can focus on. No. We have a proprietary Nokia 2.5mm charging, uh, connected by the cable to the plug. It's not a USB based one. Uh, what else do we get in the box? <coughs> Sorry, got a bit of a sore throat. We also get a 3.5mm headphone jack with a length of wire that which now goes to. Sorry, out of video. Uh, microphone with a click button. Don't know if you can hear that, but yeah. And then up here we've got normal headphones, not in ear ones plastic, pretty low quality I think, they sound pretty lightweight, uh, don't think they've really got much else to it, let's decide, what's here, again there's a whole thing of nothing, lovely of Nokia to provide us with that, here we have the good old BL5J uh, Nokia battery, Is a will that focus? I'll zoom out of it. No, but um, a 1320 milliamp hour battery. You see, all right, fairly weighty. Put that in the phone in a minute. <coughs> Let's see what this is. Something about Obi. Quick start guide. There it is. Quick start guide for services from Obi by Nokia. Doesn't seem too bad. Pretty light reading. And it's in colour, so I'm not gonna have a look at that. I don't know. And here is the big old black and white manual that no one's ever actually gonna read, so I think I'll just chuck it to the side. Alright, so that's it. let me clear all this up and I'll see if I can power the phone on and uh, see if there's anything to it. So, sorry guys, it's very hard to do this from the back of the camera. Oh, that's pretty easy. Take the battery off, the battery cover off. There's two little clips either side. One here, one here. Push and the battery pops off. This is where the SIM card goes. I don't see. I don't have an OT SIM card on me, so um, can't really test that bit for you right now, guys. Sorry. Battery goes in this way. And like I said before, nice metal back plate. Right, oh, sorry, let me clean the screen. In the prison already, that is terrible. Oh, there's a screen protector on. My bad. What a weird sound. How YouTubers like it though. So, um,. Let's take a quick tour around the device. On the top we have the 3.5mm headphone jack with the Nokia um, charger and yes I know it is a 3.5 because my normal headphones are in there. It's good for Nokia to see that. On the right side of the device we have nothing apart from the button that releases the back cover. <coughs> On the bottom 
we have sorry on the bottom we have a bit of a lanyard hole and nothing else and now on the right we have a little flap covering the micro USB port for syncing but I don't think it can be used for um, charging because well otherwise why would Nokia include the um, two and a half millimeter um, charger now under this one we have a micro SD card but I have no nails so I'm going to try and use a key to get it out and it worked Woo! now we let's see what we have I can even get it out oh, I'm terrible at this I'm sorry guys where's it be right back There we go. We have a. Oh, this camera is terrible. Sorry, I can't focus it at all. If you can't see that, I say it's a two gigabyte micro SD card. Doesn't say what class it is, so I'm gonna guess. Really, if that's wrong. Shoot me. And again, I ha and again, I have no nails, so we use the magic key to push the memory card back in. And me being the idiot I am, while doing the hardware tour, I forgot to turn the phone on. So, um, oh, nice little vibrate there. That was good. Uh, on the front, obviously, it's dominated by the uh, full quality keyboard. You've got the directional D pad with the centre button, two soft keys, two very nice silver stripe keys which lead to contacts and messages, the call send, uh, the call send key, and the call end and power button. Alright, so let's go through setup. No SIM card inserted. Start a phone without it? Yeah, why not? And Nokia's famously loud splash screen. Alright, the uh, date and time. What is the date today? Um, the date is the 16th. So, 16th of the 10th. 2010. Whoops, I forgot to set the time. But, um, let's see. I'm trying to make the video too long, guys. Alright, simple uh, menu system. This isn't actually Symbian S60, it's Series 40, so it's not actually a smartphone platform. But, um, I'll tell you why it's not a smartphone, so I'll tell you the price at the end of the video. Uh, like I said, we've got calendar, contacts, music, mail, Ovi store, photos, messaging, internet, se settings, communi communities, games, apps, and that's it. Uh, while we're here, I'll type a quick message. Um, this is a test. Alright, that was perfect. Uh, pretty quick, very easy. The keys themselves, nice and grippy. Um, they're a nice size. You can obviously hear that click, and you do get that um, beep. Uh, you do get threaded messaging with the conversations, but not in the normal inbox. Um, you do have an email client which is very good for the price of the phone, I wouldn't expect that. You've obviously got the obvious store which here you can download games, applications, etc. from Nokia. Uh, here's the apps. So, alarm clock, gallery, ex calculator, gallery, extras, voice recorder, to-do list, notes, countdown, and stopwatch. Not bad. Games, any installed? Ooh, there is actually. Meh, no good ones though. You obviously want to be downloading um, some from the obvious store yourself. Um, uh, obviously, on the, the desktop, you have your favourite contacts, your communities. So you can sign into um, Twitter and Facebook, and this w this tile here actually updates itself. I'm not sure if you can see that. This middle tile here updates itself. So 
not bad, automatically. And here are your favourite quick links. So we've got camera, browser, uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, I forgot to say, this phone has Wi-Fi. Yeah, 8211B uh, and G. No N, though. But, hey, the price of the phone, not going to complain. Music, radio, and I say camera. Uh, going to the camera, it is a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera with no flash. So, um, don't expect anything great from it, really. I'm not going to. Let's just fire the camera up quickly. Very nice, simple camera interface. Up button to zoom in, down to zoom out, obviously. You got some, and uh, you got some options. Switch to video camera. So, this does record video. Uh, I'm not sure how well it records video. I haven't done anything yet. Um, I'll post this as my, um, in my actual review. So, uh,. Thanks guys, that is, uh, that's Mobile Dom with a quick unboxing and overview of the Nokia C3. And as I said before, this phone actually only cost me £80. So, for what you're getting, a full quality keyboard, 3.5mm headphone jack, Wi-Fi, I wasn't expecting that, Bobby Store, it's a cracking phone, and the keyboard that the keyboard that good, you can't fault it really. Uh, yeah, eighty pounds. I bought this at the car phone warehouse about ten minutes ago. So um, yeah. All right, see you guys. Visit me at mobiledom.blogspot.com or follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/mobiledom. See you in the next video.